Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. So I'm just going to review on Tabainu here from the Tokyo Mater Cars Tune Collection. Obviously appearing, appearing in Tokyo Mater there. Tokyo Mater there, number 45. And I think the Cars Tune series as a whole. I don't think that means Tokyo Mater. I think that means just the Cars Tune series as a whole. Uh, that is not Tabainu actually. Does look similar. You have the stripe on the side. You have the black hood. But you can see he's obviously gray. Tabainu is red. Red and white. Uh, this guy looks to be uh, gray all around. And I do believe this was another car that Mattel wanted to release. But uh, ended up canceling it from the Cars Tune series. But I do believe it was planned to be released by Mattel. But that's not Tabainu. I'll show a picture of Tabainu later on. Uh, there's Kabuto on the back. Collect them all. I have Kabuto, Teki and Paki, Komodo. Um, another one, Manji and Tabainu. Uh, Tokyo Mater. Mater says he used to be an import car. He and Lightning battle ninjas during a midnight drift race through Tokyo. Is it a true story or a tall tale? Find out in the Fast and Furious short film, Tokyo Mater. See the adventure again and again at that website. I think if you go there, it just shows you some cars to be stuff now. But in 2010, it probably did show Tokyo Mater and other, you know, Mater tall tales. But yeah, this package is damaged, and that's because while I was trying to get it, from where it was stored, accidentally hit it on a door. Um, door kind of closed on it and uh, broke the package. But I, that's not how I got it. Um, I got it. It was a nice package when I got it. Uh, that was my fault for winning the package. But obviously, I don't plan. I, I never planned on keeping it in the package. So I didn't really care. The package got damaged. Got damaged. Although it literally got damaged while I, while I was getting it out to do this video. So. If I hadn't touched it, the package would have been fine. But yeah, here's Tobainu out of the package. And yeah, uh, he looks awesome. He looks better than expected. He definitely looks very uh, drift car-like, Tokyo drift car-like. He's got a smirk there. He definitely got a smirk there. Nice. I do like his expression, though. Really, really nice expression. You can see his mouth. Blue eyes. And even then, back then, they did like these inserts. As we talk about with... This was made in China. As you can see there, China. But even then, they had the plastic inserts for the eyes. To talk about, you know, Thailand now having the plastic inserts. And here's a Chinese car that did not have plastic inserts. But uh, obviously back here, back for this car, they did have plastic inserts. Here's another car released around the same time. Actually, looks like a plastic insert as well. Komodo doesn't look to have one. But yeah, it looks like they also had uh, some cars have plastic Inserts for the eyes, some cars didn't. Now, I love his hood here. Is that a chip on the car? I don't know what that is. Looks like a, I'm not sure. It looks like some paint, maybe, or something. I don't know. Well, that's strange. Anyways, um, I do like his carbon hood here. Now, it looks awesome. Kind of got a little bit of an engine pop up here. Yeah, that looks amazing. I really do like his carbon hood. Very nice. And it's not the whole hood either, it's just kind of the hood, uh, the part that pops up. I guess that would be technically the hood. Although I think this would be the whole, I'm not sure, but obviously not the whole hood pops up, only some of it. You have some fenders left of it here. And obviously, uh, you can see it's not the whole front of the car. On the roof here, you just have nothing, just a little antenna there. Once you get to the side, you have this pretty cool design where it starts in the front here. You got this little white stripe, it goes along, and it gets gradually bigger and bigger. So it kind of comes up onto the spoiler. Happens on both sides symmetrically. And if you can hear raining, um, I'm sorry it is raining outside right now. I'm sorry if you can hear it. I don't think it should pick up, but in case it does, that's it's raining outside. So yeah, the white comes along. And so you get to the side, it's kind of like a two-tone almost red, white, red. Looks really nice. I'd say it's kind of a throwback, not a throwback, but like, you know, homage to the Japanese flag, but I think it would have to have a little more white and a little less, less red. I feel like the red would have to be a different color for it to be, you know, paying homage to the Japanese flag. It almost looks like an Austrian flag right here, doesn't it? Should have red matches up. But uh, yeah, I really do like his rims. Kind of almost like snowflake rims almost to, uh, to an extent, but not really, but I do love his rims. They are awesome. You can see the white gradually gets... Uh, more and more white on the car and then you get to the spoiler which is massive absolutely massive and 
Kabuto's spoiler is pretty big as well, but man, his is just absolutely ginormous in the back there. Look how far it sticks out from the back of the car. He's got two spoilers as well. His spoiler is absolutely massive. It's also carbon, both layers of it, I guess you could say, are carbon, which is pretty cool. Back, no license plate, no uh, tail lights, but he does have some exhaust pipes here, some fancy, fancy exhaust pipes. They're almost like a black. I mean, I don't know if that would be black in the in the uh, short or not. Obviously, it's black here because Mattel didn't want to paint it a different color, but probably would be black in the movie as well. And while he does have the white, he still has this red trim going all around the car, which is very awesome, except for the back here. And uh, he does have a mouth plate, even though Mattel's probably never going to use this model again. Uh, this was when they did mouth plates on everyone. Even a bye bye car here has a mouth plate. I've seen these, like, they're never going to use these two models for any other car. This Kabuto, actually, I think I got this Kabuto in 2013, so that's probably why he doesn't have a mouth plate. But I'm not sure if he had a mouth plate in the original release or not. But yeah, also, one thing about him is he's got, like, these fenders sticking out on, like, the tires he's got the fenders are coming out from the car you can see it, and then it goes back to the body and then it comes out to the fenders again kind of like like he's put something extra on there i don't know but you can see how the car goes out for the front and the fenders comes back in for just the regular body and then goes back out again i'm just gonna make a muscle car feel Mus muscle car look that's pretty cool also yeah let's compare to buying here to some other cars that Look kind of similar. We're gonna start with some next gens. It almost looks like a next gen, like an early concept of a next gen. The spoiler is a little smaller. Here's Aaron Clocker. This is the Chinese version of the Thailand one did just come out. You can kind of see the difference, but not really. Right, here's Jackson Storm. Obviously, the huge spoiler for Tamayo is really what makes him kind of different from these next gens. If you got the spoiler a little smaller, you'd look a little closer. Here is Fabrizio, because why not? Maybe if Fabrizio had a spoiler, probably look a little more similar. And uh, we are getting to the cars that actually look similar to Tobano, don't worry. Obviously no spoiler on Fabrizio. Uh, if we go to Bye Bye Car here, I just kind of wanted to compare these two because these are these, these are probably my two favorite Tokyo Mater cars. They look absolutely awesome. To buy a new and buy by car, I love both of them. They look awesome together, so that's kind of why I just brought buy by car out. But uh, yeah, come on, you can't get better than that. Here is a um, Komodo. Doesn't have a spoiler and a smaller than Tobino. But he also has like these fenders things coming out of the car. You can kind of see. But he's he's just a very weird car in general. Here is Kabuto. I see he also has carbon on his spoiler. And his spoiler rivals, Tabainu. Tabainu, Tabino, I'm going to call him. I have to call him Tabainu. But um, he's got more spoilers. He's got triple spoilers, but Tabainu has double spoilers. And his spoiler is tremendous. So I'd have to give the uh, nod to Tabainu on whose spoiler is better. Okay. And then probably the most similar to him, Kabuto Ninja here. I mean, he is smaller than Tobino, but the spoilers look kind of the same. They both got double spoilers. Spoilers look kind of similar. It looks like they've got it. They got it from the same company. But um, yeah, Tobino is obviously such a unique car. All these Tokyo Mato cars are such unique cars that it's hard to really compare them. Aside from Ito San, obviously he's got what three or four repaint repaints of him. It's kind of easy to compare him, but. I think, well, isn't there, like, Trent Croto and Jesse Hollander and Ito San all blue, all the same model, and they're all basically identical to each other? <laughs> so, he's not very unique, but uh, obviously the tuners are, like, very unique. Even Teki and Pocky to an extent here, if we look on the back of uh, the packaging here. Manji, I mean, he's kind of similar to Karuisu, but they're still different. Teki and Pocky, even, I mean, how are you going to get that type of detailing? I mean, they're the same model as Guido, but other than that... And even Mater himself is uh, unique as in terms of his uh, paint job and whatnot. So yeah, let's give Tobino here a spin on the turntable. And I'll put some pictures of where he appeared in the short 
I did, he did appear for a couple of scenes. I'll put a couple of pictures right there on the screen. And, uh, yeah, that should do it for my review on Tobino. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, the next video should be on some newer cars. Uh, maybe on a silver car, maybe on a trainee. Who knows? I haven't decided, but it should be on a relatively newer car that just recently came out. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Uh, please subscribe, share, like this video, all that good stuff. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.